This has got to be one of the most interesting looking fish there are. With a big outslung nose, giant mouth, long fins, and crazy bright colors, it's what I would expect you to get if a kid designed a fish. The fish we're talking about here is none other than the hogfish or hog snapper, which is actually a misconception because they are not a snapper at all, but they are a member of the wrasse family. And like some other wrasse, they all start off as females, but around 14 inches or so, if need be, with the population near them, there needs to be more males, they can transition into a male hogfish. You can recognize a male hogfish by their signature snout. They have that big dark snout that you can see right there. Hogfish eat crustaceans like this clam right here. You can see the way they eat it, they suck it in and do this chattering style thing. That's because there's these crushers a little bit further back in their mouth and they use that to crush crabs and shells and shrimp. And it's just a really unique feature that these crazy wild looking fish have developed. That's our best one of the day so far. That's going to lead us up to what we have going on today with Captain William Wise and his son Jake, who own a charter fishing business out of Tampa Bay, specializing in snook, redfish, trout, tarpon, snapper, grouper, and yeah, hogfish. Yeah, get the little indention there. Now at home, we've had dreadful weather lately. I've been getting some fishing in, but I saw a weather opening and I met Jake and Will earlier this year at ICAST, and it was time to hop on their boat, head out into the Gulf, and target a fish I have never even tried to catch. So I chose my wording carefully there and that's because I've got plenty of hogfish. I've just only ever got them with a spear like you're seeing here. This is a very nice size Abaco hog and I'm shooting a Hawaiian sling. That's the way I've done it and the way most people I would say is harvest hogfish. But over the last decade or so, there's been a lot of people fishing them in the Gulf of Mexico and I wanted to get out with Jake and Will and make it happen. New boat, you can see I'm not where I normally am. We've had such crazy wind and weather, We've been going crazy. And a couple months ago at ICAST, I met these two guys back here. We got Jake and Will, and we're over in off Tampa right now. We're gonna get in a, a fishery that I've never even done before and until, and somewhat recently, I didn't even know it was a thing. I don't know how long ago it's been figured out, but we also got Ryan. Ryan! But something different. We're getting started right now. Once we get in some fish, we'll show you that. Oh yeah, Ryan, way to go with the wrong fish. That's what we're after today. That looks so pretty with that sun on it. That's the right fish, wrong size. That's cool. All right, should be down at the bottom. That one felt like it was kind of sitting on it. Nope. Red grouper. Red grouper. Come on, Rye. He's been he's been looking at you looking at you weird. Oh, we got color. You got a group of. I know. I thought I, I thought it was the right one when I first saw it. I saw a little red. Ooh. Real fast tail shakes. Ryan, you're the only one that hasn't caught one. I got a hog. I need to find some bigger hogs now. So cool. Maybe they're getting a little fired up now. Hogfish, hook and line. Oh, it's got some attitude over there. A 
gag. So many fish here. There you go. There's just non-stop action. I'm in the hogs over here. Double hogs. All right, that is pretty cool. Getting bigger. That's so cool. So he's like a 13 and a half. Porgies? Doubles going on over here. You got a beautiful porgy. Look at this bottom on that one. Oh, hog. Nice hog. There you go, that's our first good, good one of the day, first male. I'm getting bit too. I got a little bite. Only a couple seconds after the bait hit the bottom, we would have a fish on. It's an awesome fishery to bring kids or the family or friends and just catch fish all day long. And if you're looking to do a, a fill the cooler trip, I mean, the porgies, the grunts, the when groupers are in season, them and snappers, just tons of great eating fish Ooh, so and cool. these guys here that's our first keeper hogfish of the day and these are just a super good eating fish now the rigs we're using are something pretty unique we're using real light setups i got my tsunami salt x 4000 on a 7.6 fast action carbon shield rod but it's the jig it's this little unique lead and hook combo which they have custom made for the type of fishing they're doing and i'll put a picture of that up on the screen and you can buy them online i got another hogfish coming up here on it and i got some ideas in my head of something i think this jig will be just awesome yeah. at so we're gonna keep catching some fish and show you some even bigger ones i'm not gonna get over it uh, just a hair under That looked like a better one. Just kept sliding the boat until I got near Ryan's lip. <laughs> yeah. That's my favorite. He's got a hole in his lip from Ryan's hook. Come on. Nice one. This is so much action. No. Porgy. Those porgies are different than we got. Those things are pretty with that bright blue. That's a pretty fish too. Oh, that's a good one. That's a nice one. That one didn't fight as hard. You gotta hold that one up for me. In the sunshine. That's a good one. Oh, let me wake it up, there you go. That's a sick fish. You got a little something going on here. Oh yeah, that's the right one. <laughs> they got such, I bet sometimes their mouths just open up and it's like a reeling in a parachute. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Joey's got the man. This is a 24 incher. You got him. Oh, come on. Stay hooked up, buddy. I just hope it's a hog. If it's a hog, it's definitely the biggest one I've got today. Got him off the bottom, so we're just kind of going easy with him. I want to get a picture of you with him, too. Hang on a sec. Yeah. Like, 
Not looking like the right color. It's looking like a red color. Oh, that would have been an awesome hog. Good little combo though. Grouper, keeper, or keeper, keeper-ish. Oh yeah, he's Nice one. Yeah, another Groupers. Grouper, hog, and, I mean, a uh, gag, red, and hog all in one spot within a couple seconds. Oh yeah, sure, red grouper. Yeah. Oh! He's sliding out more than a grouper would. Right color. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice one. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's so cool. I can't get over it. <laughs> oh, here's it's just double ups everywhere. Hold them up, Ryan. Show us your trophy. Oh yeah. He woke up. Not a bad one though. This one's pulling real hard over here. Oh, oh, doubled. Got a grunt. Oh, that looked like the right color. I can barely see him though, I can tell. Yes! Oh my god, Ryan, that could have been you! Look at that thing! Dude. <laughs> I got a little fish on. That is a nice hogfish there. Yeah, that's a real one. That's a real one. <laughs> it's a secret spot? It's a secret spot. I got one too. Oh. It's the right color. Look at that. Ryan's got a hog. Got it. You're so lucky he told you to come back here. Dude, your hands look like the Hulk hands. Get those fingers out of there. He's gonna flop back in. That is a sick fish. Are you gonna eat him? Oh yeah. <laughs> nope, I got a little guy. It's a hog. Hogs everywhere, oh. Another porgy. I see him. I see him. Yeah, that tail's shaking more than a grouper's tail should be. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, Ryan. All right, now you're definitely beating me. All right, you can take my. Oh, you'll let me? I'll continue to reel up the fish I have over here. You want to come over to the porgy spot? I mean, I just caught four porgies before I got there. I want Jake to catch them. Oh yeah, nice one. You got something little? Yeah. Grunt over there and another nice hogfish. Hold them up, hold them up. So cool. Anyone can come out here and do this, just give them a call. Tripled up, that's right. Three decent fish, too. We got a gag over here, a hog, and a red. Look at that variety. So, we've been putting the hurting on the fish. We got the cool, we've shown you that already. It wouldn't be a Joey trip. Well, I just like to dive. So, Will and Jake are cool with it. Ryan's definitely cool that he wants me to go get scared by a shark or something big. But we got the dive gear, gonna slap the dive gear on, switch over to the mass camera, and hop in the water.
My first time ever diving in the Gulf. When we made the plans to come over here, I didn't mention I was bringing in any dive gear. I threw it in the truck, figured I'd feel things out in the morning, see what the boat looked like, how much room we had, and the boat was awesome. These Seahawks are wide open, tons of room. So I asked uh, Will at the boat ramp in the morning, you care if I bring my dive gear? And he's like, yeah, I want to know what it looks like down there. So as soon as I hopped in, first I noticed these jellyfish everywhere, including that one with the little baby squid on it, which was cool. And this spot, this was a new spot for them. He's like, check out what's down there. He's marking some stuff, a, a hill real high up on the bottom. So I'm like, dude, there's AJs everywhere. They couldn't even see him from the boat because of the glare. The glare was right where I was, so they couldn't see these fish. But the amberjacks were just solid. So it's coming up like 30 feet higher in this spot right under the boat so i'm going to make a drop down thinking that the bottom is only 20 feet or so under the boat because that's what the bottom machine is reading now as i started going down in the super beautiful dirty green water i realized it was deeper than it said it was and the reason it was marking that way was because of this gigantic wall of bait these they call it white bait over there or, or i call them thread fins i think they're just the regular thread fins we have over here. But they were so packed tight and so close together, I couldn't see through them. I went down to the bottom once and uh, saw some uh, some stuff down on the bottom, little rubbles and stuff, not not really anything worth spearfishing. But just being down there was cool. And some some Jack Gravels came by, a bunch of Amberjacks, Kudas, a couple Sharks. Just a all in all, a really neat dive for my first dive. And it was a pretty good dive for me at about a minute, 40 seconds from head down to head up uh, but now we're going to drop down on a different spot. now this is more of the type of stuff of where we were catching all our hogfish to show you what it looks like down there again going through that really green water making my way down to the bottom and my plan here is to get to the bottom and kind of try to stand still or sit still or lay still and hope something comes in i mean i would love to shoot a nice hogfish it would just be the cap of an already awesome day and I make my way down to the bottom and it was small stuff. I didn't think there was going to be just little like live bottom. I thought there was going to be more ledges and stuff like that. But taking what I know about hogfish in the Bahamas, this is what they like. Live bottom with fans and stuff like that for them to hide in. So I tried a little bit of dusting, laid there for a little bit, uh, looked around, seen a couple little baby porgies, but nothing really worth shooting and even if these hogfish they got to be 14 inches to keep i'm not shooting a 14 incher because you don't really get the opportunity to measure and let it go i'm looking for that big dark nose hogfish like in the 18 or 20 inch range uh but again it was just awesome to get down there and check it out that was a sick day just finished up the dive Ooh, we fell back in the water though completely on accident that is a nice day of some hog fishing, hook and line. Plenty of hog fish in my life on the spear, but today was the first day hook and line, and we got some nice ones by the captains. But Ryan's not a captain over here. He's just a guest. Thank you very much for the trip. Let's start heading in, I guess. That is a tasty hogfish. So they're not like the giant abaco hogs we shoot, but for hook and line, I mean, it's a blast. Anyone that is even considering doing it, hit up Will. It was a lot of fun. We got a pile of fish to clean up. And we're gonna get to it. I got my nine inch sword flex. I'm gonna leave the fish right here. Make an angle up to the head. Roll the knife over, cutting up through the skin, going down the back. Then following those bones down so I can get over, cut through, and then with that knife I'm just going to kind of power back up through the ribs. And that is a beautiful hogfish fillet. Skin it, cut the ribs out, and do the same thing on the other side. <laughs> 